choosing a good starting location is the most important decision that you make in this game. And I will quickly go over the process of how I usually go about this. So we already said that you want to avoid the OCV portal. In my case, it's down here in this sector. So I want to stay out of this entire area. And I went on and explored this part of the galaxy. And unfortunately, we don't have any of these gray sectors in the northwest area. That means we cannot start here. We have to go uh, somewhere else and work with what we have. Most importantly, you want, for one, stay away from the OCV. And then you also want a small patch of empty sectors which are nearby. So like these two here or these three which are connected uh, because your sectors also have a zone of control and that kind of protects the nearby uh, sectors which are directly adjacent and kind of reserves them for you so that you can claim them later. We also have these isolated sectors here and the only one that's really good is this one. What you also need to take into account is how you want to sustain your population. So for example this one has a very high population stat. White means that it's above uh, average or pretty good. And you need to feed those people. They are consuming food. You can disable this requirement with a perk. But in this case you can see that this sector the food consumption, there are four types of food and the food consumption is always dependent on the sector. And this sector needs meat and I have looked around and meat is not really produced in that area. And we even have other sectors nearby which are also consuming meat. And that means that Meat is probably hard to come by here, so either we establish a long-range uh, supply with meat to this sector, or we skip building an outpost here, so that we don't have any people living here and just build some factories, or we use a perk to disable the food requirement. So that sector here is very good in research, I would like to grab that. You start out with two stations in your TL, in your large transport. So you can immediately secure two uh, sectors and even two areas of space because of the zone of control. And the other sector which is pretty good is this one here. I, at first I did not like this one because it's very close to the OCV, but I think we have to try and go here. I've already placed some jump beacons so that we can quickly travel and claim the other sectors. And when you have established your outpost, you also have a couple of station construction resources that you can use to build a cheap factory, like a solar power plant. And that can be used to secure other sectors. Because once you settle down, the NPCs are allowed to claim these gray sectors too and eventually they are gone and then you either have to hope that new ones get created throughout the game this can actually happen uh, or you have to fight for more territory so your early sectors should uh, extort a certain area of control if we build an outpost here then we have those two sectors nearby also protected in zero hour this protection is not 100% secure, so the NPCs could go for them, but it's pretty unlikely. I will make a separate guide for the uh, zone of control, how that works exactly. Uh, just know that if you settle in an area which has other empty sectors adjacent to it, that you are basically reserving those sectors and you can uh, claim them a bit later when you have built some more factories. 
to put them in there. So I'm going to start out in this area to get a bit of uh, reserving with the zone of control going on so that we have at least those three sectors here and then this one for research. What you also want nearby is uh, trading stations. And here in this area, we have one here in the sector. So once we or any faction own that sector, we will have a trading station nearby. That means access to certain resources that we might not be able to produce ourselves in the early game. And we can also sell stuff for money. And the other sectors around us don't have a research station yet. They are a bit further away, so the, this nearby trading station will be very useful to us. And we also have a nice uh, food consumption and production in those two sectors, which is exactly the opposite. So one sector is producing fish and consuming meat, and the sector nearby is producing and consuming the exact uh, Opposite, so we can sustain those two sectors very, very well. And we don't need the no food consumption perk here. 